Okay, right here we're at this one. This one's the one here on Coral Gables. I really like this one. They're trying to sell it to me for about 360. I see the resale side of about 550 to 560, so we got about a $200,000 spread. Um, it's got a nice. It's a nice house here. The only thing is, um, it is here on Coral Gables. It's like on a pretty busy street here, but it's not. I guess it wouldn't be too bad. I don't know. Um, two car garage, three bedroom, three bath. So I'll take you inside real quick, just to kind of give you some input on what I'd like to do. I think the roof is perfectly fine, so no expense there. I would like to add maybe a window to that bedroom, but not entirely sure. I think we need to do something to liven up this yard. Especially here, we need some more life here to this. We need to bring more life to these boring plants. So, um, also here on the front, I'd like to add something better than what it currently has. Right now it has like a, just a cheap little gate. Uh, maybe a, like a little storm room here, but enclose it, okay? And then if we come in here, there's a closet here to the left. I'm sure we can do something with that. We gotta do something with here. Uh, better flooring, it's got carpeting in here right now. Do some kind of uh, better tile job on that fireplace, maybe some travertine tile, make it look cleaner. So I'll work from the right side. In fact, you know, I'm gonna go over here to the left and I'll work back over to the right and then the exterior. Um, here is uh, to the left is here's uh, the furnace. I don't know what we're gonna have to do with this guy here, but yeah, let me just check that out. I think we just need more lighting to these rooms. Some kind of um, recessed lighting in here to light this place up because it's kind of boring. Obviously, get rid of these lame mirror doors here. These are all closets. Um, this bedroom over here, it has two entries into that bathroom. So this is that one bedroom. I think we'll be alright just leaving. This is the wall that from faces the street. I don't know. I don't think we need another window there. So it has its own closet here. Obviously, the better fixtures like get rid of that ridiculous looking fan and then as you can see this bathroom has an entrance from there and from here so I guess we could leave that alone I'm not really sure here do the works in this bathroom do matching tile matching cabinets through the entire house uh, do something different something nicer with that shower do a nice stand up standing shower there um, get rid of that tub and just do a walk-in shower there somehow and then uh, let's go to the I think the masters over here to the left so we'll go to the master this one should be an easier remodel again I want to do stand up shower in, in it as well this is the master again change the fixture the ceiling fan um, it's it's almost really the ceiling is really low in here for that fan and if you're sitting on the bed you could probably hit your head on it but uh, overall it's nice bones here here's the this is the master bath um, again I'd like to see right now it's got a this is the, the master shower I'd like to see something nicer in here I don't know if we can raise the ceiling here it's really crowded so I don't know if we can raise the ceiling to match to match that right there. You see how the ceiling's about a foot and a half taller here. We can somehow pass the savings onto the bathroom and add a nice stand-up shower there um, to the right. Um, it's got its walk-in closet here. It's a decent size. I just think that this closet should have an entrance here from this side maybe. But I guess it I don't know. It doesn't matter whether we can have an entrance here or have this entire corner cut out here just access to the um, or have another entry door here just along this line here into the into the walk-in uh, what do you call it the closet there um, here I'll go to the kitchen now and I'll show you the exterior room actually no I think we'll 
check out this room here. This is something that we'll probably just leave alone. Um, it's not air conditioned, it's got its own window units, but I think we'll just leave it alone, just add some paint. I don't know, we'll let you, it's, I don't know if it's probably built to color, but it's not in the square footage. I think it just has a, it doesn't have central air. Um, there's access to that room from both the kitchen and the master. So go to the kitchen. So here in the kitchen, here's the other side of that fireplace. I think again it just needs some live, like some different tile. Um, got a nice skylight here. We just need to put some kind of um, tent to that window because it's kind of too much, maybe a little too much light. Would have to do something with the those cabinets, something better than that. Um, also, if you see here, the the ceiling it's higher in here, and I like the feel here. But if you as you get to the kitchen, it drops by about a foot and a half. Um, I'd like to possibly, obviously, do the complete uh, restructure of this kitchen. Um, I like the island, except get rid of that cabinet there to make it more open. Um, do the works in the kitchens like we always do. Um, but I would like to raise the ceiling to match this living room. I think it's like a foot and a half difference. I like to match that somehow. I know the AC ducting is there, but I'm sure we can reroute that somehow. I'll leave that up to you. Um, this wall here, um, maybe open this up some more, as well as you know the ceiling, raise it up by that foot and a half, and add some kind of larger entry into this living area, just so there's more access to it. Um, maybe leveling the floor to the rest of the house, I don't know, I'm not really sure. Um, there's Grace over there. Um, but anyway, Here's a little uh, pantry, garages to the right, and uh, we'll handle that. There's another bedroom here, and the bedroom shares a bathroom. There's access to that bathroom from the bedroom that sits in here. Um, again, I think we just need a better... Better door to that shower, not entirely sure, matching the countertops. And then this is uh, access to the rear. Not entirely sure what to do back here. Uh, it's, it's just so open. I think it needs some life of some sort here. It backs up to the ninth hole on that golf course there. As you can see, it's just really plain Jane here. Um, I don't know if we can add access, pave that to have access to the back. But again, the roof looks really good. We gotta add just some life to the back of this, to the back of this uh, this yard. This is neat looking. I think we'll just pretty much leave that alone. Let me just see the outside of the house. There's the AC unit on the side. I'm thinking that's probably going to need to be upgraded. It looks rather old. I'm not sure if it's even enough capacity for this house. Um, here, I'll try to head back over here. My sister and Grace are on the other side of the house. So, yeah, I think we'll leave this alone. It's I don't know. I don't know what you do think about this one, Ray. Again. This backyard just needs some life. It's just plain. I don't know, citrus tree, something, something different out here is just really kind of lame out here. Um, again, the major, the main, where I want to put the money into is this kitchen, opening up, opening up that area a little bit more. Um, making the ceilings higher. Here in the kitchen, it's just if you can, if you stand here, look how low it is. It's just really low. I'd like to match. I'd like to match the ceiling from here to the kitchen, so it's the same. Because right now it looks kind of cramped. Get rid of this guy. Um, get matching fixtures, obviously. Get different cabinets. Um, see if we can get a gas range out here. I know it's pretty popular out here. See if we can go that route. 
because uh, right now it just has an electric one right there. So we'll have to figure that one out. Um, need your input. Let me know what you think, okay?